Hello there, welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's fountain pen review, this Jinhao 82 Mini. Last February, I reviewed the new Jinhao 82 model and pronounced it too small and dry. Too small and dry. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I speculated that I wouldn't be writing with the pen and I was correct. Obviously, a lot of you disagreed with my assessment of this very inexpensive tiny pen because you went out and bought so many of this model that Jinhao increased the variety of colors available and then made an even smaller version of the 82 in a new range of finishes and colors. He is exactly like you in every way, except one-eighth your size. Breathtaking. When I purchased the first Jinhao 82, it was around four bucks. By the time I received it, the price had dropped to around two bucks. It is a shrewd business, this being an early adopter, I can tell you. Well, with this new model 82 Mini, the trend continues. I bought this one for around seven bucks and now you can get them for around five. So you're welcome. Let's take a look at this tiny Sailor Pro Gear Mini clone. They need the clone! Right now. <laughs> So I bought a bunch of stuff on a recent order to AliExpress, and I can't remember what was in this group of pens. Now let's open it up. Yep. <laughs> and this is a medium, obviously. Jinhao 82. This is the shorter version of the 82, and I wondered how short it was. It's actually very writable. That looks very interesting. And a nice color, white cap, bottom finial, and a converter. So that's much nicer than the original version, I think. I'll show the parts and features of this pen, some size comparisons and measurements, and then provide a writing sample. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. Overall, the pen is very small indeed. Here it is next to a Caveco Sport, which is only one millimeter shorter capped. Other than the size changes, the other big difference with the Jinhao 82 original is the choices of color and style of nib. You can now choose to have either the open a number five size steel nib or a hooded nib and they're finally offering a medium nib in addition to the EF and F sizes. I think Jinhao has caught on that people love variety. The ivory and white with iced blue crushed ice barrel and gold colored trim is very attractive. From the top we see the flat finial that Jinhao has still refrained from adorning with the Jinhao chariot medallion. At least they didn't put an anchor on it. The top finial is separated from the rest of the cap by a gold colored clip ring which holds the gold color clip in place. And the clip is identical to the original Jinhao 82 clip. And it's still very stiff but usable. Other than the color, the cap on this mini is identical uh, to the original 82 and they are completely interchangeable. So they are the same injection molded plastic parts. The barrel is a different part of course being a full 17 millimeters shorter with a much longer end finial. The crushed ice barrel is very attractive with some nice chatoyancy. The barrel is turned acrylic where the rest of the plastic parts are injection molded. The cap unscrews with the same one and two full rotations to reveal the tapering ivory white plastic section that has a slight flare towards the number five size steel medium nib. The section is identical to the original 82 model and is completely interchangeable. Of course you'd have to use the shorter converter in the Mini as the long converter provided with the original model 82 is too long for the shorter barrel of the Mini. Let's take a closer look at this nib. It is the typical number five size steel Jinhao nib. This one is two-toned in gold and silver with the Jinhao chariot, Jinhao, and an M for medium and the standard black plastic feed. The nib and feed are part of a nib assembly that unscrews for replacement or maintenance. The section unscrews to reveal the aforementioned shorter Jinhao cartridge converter. The shorter converter means less ink, 0.47 milliliters of ink versus the original's 0.77 milliliters of ink. And inside the cap shows a plastic cap liner that helps seal the nib from evaporation. The cap posts deeply and securely and is really required to write comfortably with the pen. As unposted, it is way too short to write with comfortably. 
posted the Mini is significantly shorter, 14 millimeters shorter than the original 82 is posted. I bought this pen from the AliExpress 365 Days Stationery Store for $6.79 US. Now let's look at some size comparisons. Here is the Jinhao 82 Mini with a Jinhao 82 original, a Caveco Sport, a Magon RS1 Titanium, and a Lanby 2 3026 Copper. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. You can see that the Jinhao 82 Mini is significantly shorter than both the original 82 and the Caveco Sport. In fact, it's the shortest of the group. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. Even unposted, the Jinhao 82 Mini is the shortest of the group, shorter than the Caveco Sport even. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is the Jinhao 82 Mini. Look at that pornum. Before I get started, I gotta tell you that this nib was seriously misaligned when I got it. It refused to lay down any ink at all the first time I inked it. No mini me! Off! It took a great deal of effort to get the tines aligned properly again. Now it's writing okay. So let's check the wetness. It's decently wet and the nib is relatively smooth with a lot of toothy feedback. And this is a number five size steel medium nib and the ink today is Robert Oster fire and ice which I think is a really nice match for this icy blue pen as to line variation well you can push out a little bit, but this is a very, very stiff nib. It's very, very resilient. Stiff Chinese steel. The nib makes a 0 0.5 millimeter thick line, which is a Western fine or a Japanese fine to medium on my Richard Bender line width chart which you can find linked in the description below and for our quote somebody get the stick you complete me I love you and for some reverse writing it's a bit thinner it's a lot smoother than it is right side up very interesting and for some quick writing. No issues whatsoever. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, there are three things that I like about this fountain pen. Number one, I like the ivory white and crushed ice blue acrylic and gold hardware as it's very attractive. Number two, I like that Jinhao is finally providing a medium nib. And number three, I like that I won't have to continue using this tiny pen as my wife has taken a shine to it and will take it off my hands. Actually, this is a very well-made pen with the notable exception of a severely misaligned nib. It failed to write right out of the box, which is a no-no for any fountain pen, whether it's seven bucks or 700 bucks, in my opinion. The good news is if you buy four of them, which is still under 30 bucks, statistically, you'll get two or three good ones. Or you can just swap the nib with another as they are for sale individually. Just unscrew the old one and screw in the new one. Just screw it. Are you sure you don't have a little clone in you? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Would you like to? 
<laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> that is so not funny. If you need a knockabout pocket or purse pen that you won't worry about losing, you can buy two or three of these in various colors and finishes. Keep one in your purse, your glove compartment at work, or in your drawer at home. Get various colors to use with multiple colors of ink, and you won't have to keep swapping inks. For this price, there's little risk of investment. Buy a bunch of them and give them out as gifts during the lucrative gift-giving season, and you can penable your friends and family with cool stocking stuffers. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And you can join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comments section, and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. We're watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.